Section 14.7, reactions of acids and bases. We concentrate mainly on the uh, reaction between the acid and the base, not so much on these other reactions. These other reactions we've pretty much already seen, all right? So for instance, when acid reacts with an active metal, and you'll learn in chapter 15 what it means to be an active metal, all right? So if this is a single replacement reaction. So here's the magnesium, which is a positive ion, right? I mean, right here it's a neutral atom but it forms a positive ion. It's going to kick out the hydrogen, so that forms H2 and then magnesium chloride. Right? But again, it doesn't always work. It has to be what's called an active metal. It has to be able to displace that, that acid, has to be able to uh, react with it. Right? Now another reaction is with carbonates and bicarbonates. So with these, what you have to know let me sort of take one of these out of here. Let's take this uh, sodium bicarbonate with HBr. All right, let me let me let me smallerize this. So let me write this out. Here's uh, sodium bicarbonate in HCO3 plus HBr. Now, what this yields? This is still just a double replacement reaction. So the Na is going to go with the Br, and the H plus is going to go with HCO3 minus. So that's going to form H2CO3 plus NaBr because Na is plus one, Br is minus one, uh, H is plus one, HCO3 is minus one, so that's how it works. But this is carbonic acid. Carbonic acid only exists under pressure. So if if you're not applying pressure to this, like a soda can pressure, and it has to actually be carbon dioxide pressure, but if you're not applying pressure to it, it actually breaks down to water plus carbon dioxide gas. So why does your soda always get watery and it, it, it's like flat? Well, because that carbonic acid that's in your soda breaks down to water and carbon dioxide. All right, so I just wanted to point that reaction out. But the reaction that we're going to be concerned with is here in this case, and we're only dealing with strong acids and strong bases, a neutralization reaction. Right? So an acid will react with a base to always produce a water and a salt. And a salt, in this definition, is an ionic compound that comes from an acid and base. Okay, so sodium chloride in this case is a, is a salt in that term. And we can also see what's called the complete ionic that we looked at before in the net ionic. Now, in the net ionic, we can see here's the acid, hydrogen ion, here's the base, hydroxide ion, and it only forms water. So we can see how that sort of plays out. All right? Now, we'll focus mainly on the number three type of reaction here, which is the neutralization reaction.